Mother Brooks, I don't know how we can thank you for all your advice. Who needs a marriage counselor? After 50 years of being together, y'all got to be the expert on staying together. That's true, sweetheart. I can't believe what people today get divorced over. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember when Mr. Brooks here, when I caught him in bed with your Aunt Louise and your cousin Lester. I said to myself, well, at least he's keeping it in the family. Well, the water got rough, but the ship didn't sink. <laughs> That's right, honey. We were raised to believe that when people got married, they should stay married mm. through thick and through thin. Oh, yes, sir. For better, for worse. Till death do us part. Now, that's exactly how it's going to be. <laughs> Me and Miss Brooks going to be together till the day that we die. Well, I hope that's a long time coming. Now, y'all two take care here. We love you both. All right, now. Bye, children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, Mrs. Brooks, looking at your tired, dried up, wrinkled husk of a body <laughs> made me a mite thirsty. Would you mind fixing me a nice cold glass of lemonade? Oh, why, certainly, Mr. Brooks. Anything to help a man who can't stand on his own two feet because he ain't got no spine. Mr. Brooks, your lemonade. Glory be. Uh, Yeah, and here's to 50 years of being together. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brooks, you ain't gonna light up one of those old nasty, foul-smelling cigars, are you? Well, yes, I am. This is the only thing in this house that ever gave me satisfaction. (laughs) Well, what do you expect, Mr. Brooks? That stinky cigar is smoking better than you ever have. We own the subject of funky smells, Miss Brooks. <laughs> Them feet of yours is so big and nasty, you the only woman I know can fill up a mason jar with her own toe jam. Well, that's mighty ironic coming from you, Mr. Brooks. With all that burping and passing gas you do, I don't know if I'm sleeping with my husband on Mount Pinatubo. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Brooks, I think I'd like to get a better look at your life insurance policy. Do you mind plugging that lamp in over there for me? Well, not at all, Miss Brooks, not at all. Let me just find this thing. Are you grounded, Mr. Brooks? Oh, beg your pardon. (coughs) Oh, I hope I didn't wet you. I'm sorry. Well, no, I guess it it ain't as wet as it usually get when you forget to wear that damn diaper in bed. If you wear some socks, those toes of yours look like a row of Brazil nuts. <laughs> if you're so worried about covering things up, please, would you stop wearing them see-through negligees? Your body make my stomach spark. You got so much hair on your chest, I need a damn weed whacker to find up one of them old shriveled lopsided nipples you got. Is that so? Well, Mr. Brooks, with your false teeth, your glass eye, your wooden leg, your plastic hip, your pacemaker, and your hearing aid, you got more attachments than a Hoover automatic. At least my parts ain't drooping, Miss Brooks. Your butt hangs so low, you can walk and cover your tracks at the same time. Mr. Brooks, would you get that ball of yarn for me, please? Oh, why show, Miss Brooks? Why show, Miss Brooks? <laughs> What you knitting? Oh, I'm knitting a muzzle. For your mama. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's on now. Oh, it's on now. Speaking of mamas, your mama's so cockeyed. She can watch a tennis match and she don't even move that big head of hers. You done done it now, Mr. Brooks. I see you still got your hook. Well, here I go. My heart. My heart. Help! We We fallen and and we can't get up. Grandpa, I left my wallet. Why, you frisky little devils after all those years, Grandpa. We still still together. together. Well, since you're down here, Grandpa.